your moment with a gap for two of fifth. Certainly looking at the moment, about that 30 second marker. see the difference in pace. Elias bit went round there so quickly over that section of road away over the trackway there but unclipped right on the limit. Pim Roja not taking those same chances. They take a look at each other as they come round that loop sandwiched in between and Lars van der Haar making his way through a really muddy section here. It's been muddy pretty much all day long while some of the rest of the course has dried out slightly. That's definitely not the case there. So here comes your race a leader, it is Ellie Isabit making his way back through the side of the Chateau. God is going to drop down in towards the side of the old moat that's been filled in dives. Round that turn out the pedals very quickly. He knows now that the opportunities for him are there. He needs to make the most of them. He doesn't want to make a mistake on any of these. Basically, it's about keeping it smooth, making the most of what's presented, but not taking any chances. Meanwhile, Lars van der Haar knows that it's going to take a major mistake from Isabit for him to get back in a touch or a major bit of bad luck for uh, Ellie Isabit. No problems uh, uh, so far for Bremer. Most of the race field with punches, not seeing anybody changing because of that. But with uh, one lap changes and the nature of this course, I suspect that is uh, uh, not a bad thing because this is a very tough course to come back from. If you did have a problem at the moment, no problems. That is a bit dismounts on the first of the two ramps coming up on to the uh, top, coming away from the chateau. Lars van der Haar in second place. More circumspect down there on that line this time round. Tight left-hand line there goes up on to the middle of the banks on his way up as his bit comes round down the side of the lake. Continuing to take that tight inside line, picks up a rut as he comes through, then over and across towards that tree on our left-hand side. Now, how much room is he going to give the boasts? Uh, is he going to give the uh, side of the course here? I think a little bit more this time round than when he uh, was very close on there, causing him a problem early in the race. Past the VIP section into this tight left-hand turn once more over the hurdles, and then two right-hand turns, he'll be able to see that finishing gantry. Both of the planks done, both of the barriers, both of those hurdles complete. He knows where the competition is. It's Lars van der Haar, and he is far enough behind now. Not to trouble the race leader. Great chaser through van der Haar, working really well through the race and coming strong as the race goes on. But here he goes, high fives time. It's a professional look over the shoulder for Ellie Isabit. The uh, Pau Sousen bingo rider, the series leader, extends his lead at the top with a win here today at round of six in Flamanville. It's going to be a second place here in the UCI World Cup. And uh, Lars van der Haar will come uh, through to uh, take away the Hall of Second Place points. 30 points going uh, to uh, van der Haar.